Hey guys, just wanted to pop in real quick and let you know that on Saturday, January 8th at 3 p.m. Central, we are releasing the Royal Vault Collection. These are all of our best sellers from 2021, and a few of them are from previous years as well. We'll see you there. Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Royalty Soaps. Now I am so excited about today's video. I have had countless, I mean countless requests from you guys in the comments section and on Instagram asking me to look at Dr. Squatch soaps, to ask my opinion on their soaps. Like they're kind of a cool soap company. They were big enough to get a Super Bowl commercial. Like we have to give credit where credit is due. The, it, the, the market Marketing is fantastic. I have also had people in my personal life tell me, oh, Catherine, have you tried their soaps? What do you think about them? Have you seen their YouTube commercials? And I will say the YouTube ads that I get for Dr. Squatch make me laugh every single time. I remember when I saw my first one like a year and a half ago and I thought that is just, it's so funny. Now, if you've never heard of Dr. Squatch, they are a handmade soap company that is marketed mainly towards men. So they have lots of very fresh scents, very woodsy scents. They are very like kind of aggressive in all of their marketing and all of their uh, ads and stuff. You're not a ditch. You're a man. And they have recently partnered with Star Wars. So a handmade soap company got a deal with Star Wars, which I think is awesome. So today I'm gonna be looking at their website for the first time. I'm gonna be buying some things on there to kind of see what we think. And then when they get here, I'll be smelling them, talking about the packaging and kind of reviewing them as a whole. All right, Dr. Squatch Organic Soap. Now I'm, hi Rakuten, how are ya? <laughs> yes. I want to activate 3% cash back. This obviously isn't a Rakuten ad, but I really do use them all the time. Anyway, back to the homepage. So I'm filming this before the Christmas season. So there's a lot of Christmas branding and I can see the website is laid out so easy. Like you can see if you want a bundle, you know exactly where to go. If you want, you know, just an individual product, you know exactly where to go. They show you all of the magazines and stuff they've been featured in. And again, I have to say the marketing and the packaging is top notch. I love the little Sasquatch. I love all of the fonts because they're really, really easy to read. And even though I obviously prefer things that are a little more frilly and maybe have some more like bright and fun colors, the target audience that they're trying to appeal to, I can't imagine wouldn't be like completely enthralled with this. So I love to see it. I love the packaging. Now I'm really interested in that Star Wars bundle because I've seen it advertised on TikTok and everywhere else a thousand times. So let's see, here's their best sellers. Ooh, okay, so let's see. Ha ha! Star Wars limited edition, yes. Hopefully I can get the whole collector's box. I can, ooh, is it still in stock? We'll, we'll just pick that right up. And I'm not even a huge Star Wars fan. I just think it looks so incredible. Add to cart. <laughs> Free shipping is only $12 away. That's also handy. What else shall we pick up? Shall we get more than just soap? They have toothpaste, hair care, all the bundles. I kind of want to take the soap quiz. Let's take the soap quiz. Eight quick questions. Right on. <laughs> the use of gifts. How do you like to smell? Fresh, musky, herbal, woodsy, and sweet. Sweet. I like to smell sweet. How much exfoliation do you like? Me personally, I have eczema on my hands. So a little exfoliation is sometimes nice, but sometimes it's better to just use a smooth bar. So I'm going to say none. What length hair are you working with? Long, medium, short, or shaved bald? I have long hair according to these pictures. <laughs> Pick your poison. Beer, bourbon, tequila, champagne, or rum. Is none an option? <laughs> I mean, out of all of those, I guess tequila, because I like a frozen Texas margarita, but oof, the rest of them, oof, oof, oof. <laughs> what type of soap are you currently using? <laughs> Natural small batch, of course, either by me or another small business, I'm proud to say. Hold on, who's putting none just water? <laughs> Enter your email. Ah, they got me. 
They got me with the marketing email boss of that cat. <laughs> okay, well, what the heck? I'll add in my email and we'll see what they say I am. Your top recommended scents are below. Try them individually or bundle and save. Ooh, grapefruit IPA. Nani? Bay rum. Is it IPA or IPA? IPA! IPA! Wait, it's IPA, isn't it? Can you tell I don't know anything about alcohol? <laughs> So they're also saying I can make it into a bundle and get all of the things, save 25% and get free shipping, which I mean, you can't hardly argue with that. Okay, so I have the Star Wars bundle and I have everything that they recommended to me. Okay, so I am at the checkout and I added the two Rakuten coupons, but they actually didn't end up saving me as much as getting the entire one-time bundle did. So I'm going to stick with the bundle and go ahead and refuse the coupons because I saved $3 by using the bundle discount. So some of these soaps are only $5.25, which is amazing for handmade soaps. And now that I've bought the Dr. Squatch without looking at anything, let's go and see some of the ingredients and some of the claims and stuff about each of the individual bars. So let's go look at Birchwood Breeze, fresh and woody. Wow, look at those positive reviews. <gasps> Good for them. They tell you up front what the exfoliation is like. They'll tell you what all of the smells are like. Let's see. Here's all the details. They've got their funny dude that comes up and tells you all about it. Cold process. All right. Made from natural oils, no harsh chemicals, sustainably sourced. All right. They also kind of give a little bit of a disclaimer about like skin irritation because they like to use natural ingredients, but you know, sometimes people still have a reaction to that. Um, lather up your cold process soap, scrub down daily. Great for all skin types. See all ingredients. So Ponified oils of olive, sustainable palm, and coconut with shea butter, natural fragrance, birch bark powder, kaolin clay, titanium dioxide, sea salt. All right, so they're very, very upfront about all of their ingredients. I wonder what they mean by natural fragrance. Natural is a tricky word in marketing because it's not a regulated term. So you can kind of slap natural on anything, but I'm not seeing essential oils. They just say natural fragrance, which would lead me to believe that they're using fragrance oils um, that are probably made with essential oils. You can get ones like that at Wholesale Supplies Plus and they'll tell you it's a fragrance oil and essential oil blend. However, I think if a regular consumer read natural fragrance, they would immediately think you can find this in nature like they've squeezed mint leaves and that's what's giving it the scent when in reality I think it's probably artificial so let's go look that up here and this is really awesome they have a whole area where you can see oh it's man-made or it's from a plant like lye is man-made sustainable palm there's obviously water. Let's find that fragrance. Yeah, fragrance, man-made. So when you put something like natural fragrance on it, and then you also put man-made, <laughs> I mean, I don't know, it, it, it might be confusing. Our high performance scents are complex and aromatic fusions derived exclusively from sources like essential oils or other chemical compounds. So again, fragrance is man-made, but derived exclusively from sources like essential oils, distillates, and the like. So I don't know. I don't know what that means exactly. But they also have essential oils listed. So I feel like there's probably some bars or some products that are only scented with essential oils. I realize I just went on a big rabbit trail there, but some people might care about whether or not their product has a fragrance oil or an essential oil in it. Typically, when someone says fragrance, that means artificial or man-made. And if they say essential oil, obviously, then that is a nature derivative. So you can kind of be looking for that if it's something that you care about. Obviously, I use both fragrance oils and essential oils. I don't have a personal preference, um, but I really do enjoy seeing everything that they have used in one area, and then they tell you about each ingredient. That's super helpful. Well, I guess at this point, all there is left to do is wait for that box to arrive, and I can tell you I am so excited. Again, pros of that whole experience was easy to understand website. I love the marketing. I think it's so, so funny. I love how everything is easy to read. Everything's easy to find. They make it really, really simple if you wanted to bundle something and save, etc. So, so far, no cons. And their prices are incredible, especially for being in such a compact and honestly kind of cute little box. We shall await these products with bated breath.
Okay guys, it's been a couple of weeks and the box is here. Now one thing I have to say before I open it or look inside is that I had already ripped off the packaging because there was absolutely nothing on the box that would let me know that it was from Dr. Squatch. Like there was no colored tape, no branding, and the return address label said like fulfillment department like 8109 or something like that. So I thought it was an Amazon box and that's why I opened it up. So that would be something I might give constructive criticism on is that if there's literally no branding at all, there was no like little Dr. Squatch, even just a sticker, something to identify what your package is, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Once I saw the Disney logo in here, I stopped opening it though. So there's some craft paper for wrapping. We also have a branded packing slip. Wow, here we go. So here is the collectible Star Wars Dr. Squatch soap, which is really cool. Here is the back of the box. It is like a matte black. It's not very velvety, it's just matte. And here is the front of the box. Honestly, the branding is stellar. And then on the very top, we have some silver kind of chrome. Super cool. And then we have the actual soap bars. So they are packaged in like a craft material. Really nice. None of the tabs are opening on the sides and nothing is ripped. So that's great. And then we have the shampoo and the conditioners. So these are in plastic amber bottles. It's 10 ounces for this one, eight ounces for this one. Now, another thing I will say is that unlike other handmade soap companies that I have opened up products from, the smell of the box was like nothing. So I didn't smell the soaps immediately. Is that because they're in a box? Maybe so. Could also be that the fragrance isn't very strong. I don't know. But there is a little peephole you can see up at the top. Also, here is the back. So it tells you all of the ingredients. And then also just has some little highlight bubbles on the bottom to tell tell you just like quick facts about the product. It also has directions for use and it says lather it up, scrub yourself, and it's spelled Y-E-R-S-E-L-F. <laughs> which is awesome and then rinse and repeat. So really love the box. Like I said, the branding here is impeccable. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. So we've got a sort of rustic natural looking soap. Looks like there might even be some exfoliants in there like an apricot seed or a calendula. Uh, there's no beveling on the side, so it's a rough cut, which I mean is obviously, I feel like a must for this company because of their target demographic. There's sea salt and a natto powder in there. So that's what I'm seeing that's kind of giving it the orange little flex. It smells awesome. I can also see here that it does have fragrance in it, but they are calling it natural fragrance. And again, I just don't know what that means. So on the back, it says no harsh chemicals, cold process, sustainably sourced, all the good stuff made from natural oils. And then it has natural fragrance listed. But again, if you go to the website, they do tell you they are using fragrance oil, which does include safe synthetics. So Take that for what you will. I will tell you, it does smell amazing. Ooh, okay, so the Cool Fresh Aloe looks really, really pretty. Now this smells awesome. This smells amazing. And on the back, I was looking for um, specified colorants, but because they're not saying that this does anything, they're just claiming that it's a bar of soap. You don't actually have to specify that. So they just put colorant on the back, but I'm gonna tell you it's green oxide. That's what they used to get this color. Don't know if it's done with just green oxide or if there's also a mica included, but green oxide is definitely present. And what is green oxide? Well, it is something that can be taken directly from the earth. It's found naturally occurring, but most of the time people are buying the stuff that is made in a lab. It's a safe, synthetic, nature identical colorant. So it's cheaper to produce that way. It's safer to produce that way. Now let's smell this Bay Rum because I'm really excited about that. The Bay Rum is uncolored, so only colored with kale and clay. Very nice. Yeah, this is the mildest fragrance out of all of the soaps. Also noticing that all of the bars do have palm oil in them. They are sustainable palm oil. I really like the properties that palm bring to a bar. Not only does it make a really, really like creamy kind of soft bar, but it also brings a lot of hardness to it. I'm saving the best for last here. I'm going to give these a quick sniff. Ooh, 
They're sealed. Right on. Oh, that smells awesome. Cypress Coast Oat Protein Jojoba Oil Honey Sulfate and Paraben Free. So because of the honey, not vegan, but sulfate and paraben free. So depending on what you like as a consumer, there's some quick facts. This smells really good too. Love the packaging. I can also tell that the label is the type of label that if you get it wet in the shower, it's not gonna bleed all over everything. Having labels that won't bleed in the shower or in the bath or on the side of the sink is something that I feel the handmade and small business community at large kind of struggles with. Most things that I purchase from others that go into the shower bleed or drip or the ink runs. So I'm really happy to see that these are not the types of things that are going to do that. And then I'm going to be able to read all the information at whatever time I want, no matter how full this is. And now for the Star Wars soap. I'm so excited. It looks fantastic. I feel a little bit bad opening it up because I don't want to mess it up. <gasps> yes. First of all, the inside, so the part that has been added to the box to keep these guys from moving, looks like a little computer. See all those little, all those little lines in there? Looks like a computer, super cool. I really love that. The box is the same standard size as their other boxes, which I think looks really nice. So that if you want to purchase multiple products, you could, you know, put them all in a line and it would still still be cohesive even though this is special edition. And I also see once I remove it, there's stuff in the back too, which is really cool. Let's take Yoda out. We'll take everybody out so that you guys can see the inside of the box. Super good. It kind of has their, uh, I guess their weapon of choice in there. That's just so cool. All right, let's look at some colors here. I'm seeing a blue in here, which again would suggest um, a mica, an ultramarine, uh, an oxide, something like that. Yes, sir. Look at this. Smells great. Looks like they did some sort of an in the pot swirl on this. <laughs> Let's look at the wisdom wash. I love that for Yoda. Ooh, this one's crumbling a little. A wee little bit. All right. Mmm. Smells great. Natural fragrance, mica. So this one is colored with mica as well. I mean, I'm gonna go out there and say it. It looks like a mix of Snake Island green. <laughs> <laughs> and a little bit of new leaf green. Obviously, these people would be purchasing from manufacturers directly and not third party distributors, but I'm just saying, if you were wanting to make something similar, that's what I would use. <laughs> All right, Darth Maul. That is how you pronounce his name, right? The Ruthless Rings. <laughs> Okay, it is Darth Maul. Okay, Sith warrior Darth Maul. In my defense, I've seen Star Wars twice, okay? So I can't remember everybody's name, but I do remember when these movies came out and I saw this character being absolutely freaked out. I thought he was incredibly scary. I couldn't get over the horns on his head and I wanted to run. Ooh, this is kind of like a pinky. Oof, I do not like the smell of that, but. <laughs> Y'all take that for what it's worth, because y'all know me. I'm particular about my, like, natural smells. Dragon fruit powder, sand, and mica. Right on. I actually really like that, because if you look at a dragon fruit, it's, like, red, and it has little black spots, and this is red, and it also has little black spots, so that's pretty cool. What is the fragrance here? Spicy, woody aromas. So, I don't know if it's the spice or the wood that I don't prefer, but I don't love that scent personally. I know a ton of people would though. Y'all should take my opinion on fragrance with a grain of salt because uh, you guys know I, I just love fruit. I, I'm just a fruit loving person. I like some natural scents as well but anything that's leaning towards like woody, smoky, I'm like <laughs> And finally the dark side. Let's pull it out. Ooh, let's see. Okay. Bah, 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 bah. Okay, so a pink and a black. Mmm, smells pretty good. It says that it's a smoky scent but I'm not getting that. Just in case someone wants to come for me for calling this pink and not red. Look guys, it's it's definitely pink. I don't know what to tell ya. The box for this one, a little bit messy, a little bit smeary. Black soaps are typically that way. I wouldn't, you know, detract points because of that. Again, especially because black oxide and activated charcoal are just kind of that way. And you know, the whole vibe here is to be rustic. So a little smeary in the box, a little, little smeary on the sides, whatever. You know, it, it's supposed to be like a man's soap. So that's, that's, there you go. 
Let me remove my Fitbit here and we will wash our hands with one. I really want to use the grapefruit, but I also think I'm going to pick one of the Star Wars ones. Maybe this one just because, I don't know. I like the dude on it. I think he's cute. Right. Let's start with the original. Bloop. All right. Some bubbles almost immediately. Super hard. Like super, super hard bar. My studio is also cold. So yeah, this is really soft. It, it does have that slip that I feel like palm oil gives it. Man, this is great. Let me just, I mean, you can see, you can see the bubbles. It's a lot. Just rinse my hands. They don't feel tight. Um, feels great. Feels like a great bar of handmade soap. Ooh, this blue got even prettier when I added it to the water. Also, if I look close, I can see the mica in there, which is always, you know, it's kind of fun. It's fun if you're a soap maker and you know what is going into the bar to look deeply and be like, I know what you put in there. This lather is great. I, I wonder if they changed their original formula for the Disney collab or if it's the same recipe. I feel like it would be the same recipe but super bubbly super hard smells awesome again like really really great soap feels great Okay, so overall, like final thoughts and conclusions, I really love the company. I think they've done such an excellent job absolutely nailing their branding, nailing their packaging. Their smells are awesome. The soap feels great. And the pricing for the weight of the soap is awesome. Things I might give constructive criticism on, again, might be updating the look of the shipping box just so that people can identify who it's coming from. And then the only other thing that I guess you could say something about is branding the soaps to be natural soaps and then adding synthetics like synthetic colorants or a synthetic fragrance oil. I use both synthetic colors and fragrance oils. So me personally, I don't have a problem with that, but I can see how somebody might say that's greenwashing a little bit. I'm definitely not trying to start a war or again, make commentary on like what is ethical or not here. This was a really fun video. I absolutely love all the things that I got. It, 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 this was a wonderful experience. Super, super fun to see a soap making company that is out there absolutely crushing it. They're killing it. It's awesome. I love it. So yeah. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up because I have absolutely no reference point for whether or not people will actually enjoy something like this. I just made it because I thought it would be fun. So thumbs up and positive feedback if you want to see more would be truly helpful because there are other soap makers that are far bigger than I am. There are other soap companies that are out there just like in huge warehouses and I would love to be able to review their products as well. Dr. Squatch, big thumbs up. You guys do amazing stuff. Really, really love the branding and all that. And hooray for having the first video of 2022. I didn't really do like a roundup video for last year or anything. It was just like, oi, we're done with Soapmas and hey, it's 2022. <laughs> But I hope your New Year's Eve festivities were fun. I can't wait to talk more about what we plan on doing this year at Royalty Soaps. I hope you guys do something fun for yourself today, whether it is going out and getting yourself a handmade bar of soap, even if you're a soap maker, just to support the community or you know, uh, looking for Sasquatch out there in the mountains. I don't really care what you do. Just be sure you do something fun for you and I'll see you guys on the next video. So until then, bye for now. Yeah.